Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in IndyCar. Now this was developed by Odd Meter, published by 11-Bit Studios and is available for £20.99 slash $24.99 Americanos I believe. So as the titular titty title suggests, we play as IndyCar who has trouble fitting in as a nun and ends up going on this mega adventure with what is perceived to be the devil in her head. It's a fantastically intriguing game with an excellent story that will keep a lot of people talking about what religion is right, if any, at all. <laughs> As for achievements, it is a nice, easy, straightforward list. There's no collectibles, and the only part you really have to concentrate on is getting through a fish dryer without falling off. But again, we'll get more into that when we get there. Uh, it is a great game. It's a quite an easy completion and can be done in around 1 hour and 45 minutes to 2 hours or so, depending depending if you uh, skip the cutscenes or not, which, just for the purpose of this video, we will be skipping the scenes, but I do highly recommend watching them because it is actually a great little uh, story. Uh, right, so with that being said then, let's do it! And as I said, there's going to be... There's going to be puzzles. It's kind of one of those games that is sort of walking simulary, simulary, yeah, simulatory, walking simulatory. A uh, few puzzles, lots of talking, um, but yeah, it, it, it's just it's just pretty cool. Although the loading screens, as you can see, do try and uh, do tend to take just a little bit of time. Right. So as we begin here, then um, now you're going to see Indica fall in. This is kind of a couple of mini games that we'll have to do. Uh, throughout the game, um, so just collect everything. If you miss something, don't worry about it. Um, as the points in the top left-hand corner, you shouldn't miss anything, but as even the game is going to tell you, honestly, they, these don't even matter. Those points do not matter at all. Um, so you can go ahead and hold the B button to skip the cutscene if you'd prefer. Go. There's a basket for Smaragda in the warehouse. She's waiting. So yes, as you will probably be aware then, Indica is not loved among her peers. Uh, don't know why, but uh, I think that's pretty uh, sexist myself. Anyway, head to the right, and what we're going to do is just head towards the building with the uh, diamond icon. Uh, don't worry, nobody's going to like you know, try and beat the crap out of you or anything, you're just going to have, again, uh, what is perceived to be the devil in our head. So, head in through the left into this door. Again, you can have a look at things and pick things up if you so wish. Um, obviously, but again, just for the purpose of the video, we're just going to be skipping all of that. Okay, so, we're going to head down. And... Oh, God, well, sorry, you miserable... God... Because you don't have any of the good stuff, huh? You just eat crackers and drink water all day. That's a prison diet, damn it. Anyway, head around, and then what we're going to do is get our first achievement, actually. So head to the left where that uh, old thick nun has gone. And what we're going to do is interact with the ladder straight in front of us. And we're going to climb up by pressing the A button. And then we're just going to knock the ladder over. There it is. And that'll get us the sisterly love achievement. So, if that's the case, then you can probably see why Indica is not the most popular. I don't know how that happened. Bruh, you, you climbed up and took it off. There. Anyway, there's your first achievement. So, we'll continue walking out. And then, with this building, we're going to walk uh, into this building here. Straight in front of us. For the sake of the prayers of all the... Stesha, do you have something prepared for Smaragda?
Right then, labs, we've got all the vegetables, so we're going to head out. We're going to take a right. It's going to be a little uh, edit there because I went the wrong way. So you take a right as you come out the door, and effectively we're just uh, heading um, back on ourselves. So enjoy the uh, dialogue. This is where the devil in our head says that we are unloved. It's because I'm green, isn't it? Indica's biggest dream was for that voice to leave her alone once and for all. Her entire life became a struggle, a painful resistance. No matter how hard she tried, no matter how much she tortured herself, the voice grew louder and more convincing every day. So this time, go ahead and take a left. Again, obviously, what we're doing is effectively just following the marker straight in front of us. So we'll just go across the bridge. We can't... Now, if you want to walk ever so slightly faster, it would normally be with the uh, right bumper, I think, or right trigger. Um, but when we get out of this whole nunnery, we'll be able to walk a little... Uh, run a little bit faster. So anyway, just continue heading down the old path for now, heading towards the old... Marker. And I saw the servant of God holding the life of passion bearer Hermon of Athos. So I went up to her, quickly made the sign of the cross, and added, God grant you patience, mother, for I worship Mount Athos, my sisters. The spirit of the Holy Church lives on, only on Mount Athos, where they fast according to the canon. Where the brethren live by grace, humility, and remembrance of death. So we're basically going to get enough points to sort of upgrade, but it it, it literally does not matter what you pick at all. Um, I just went for grief four because, you know. I, I don't know why, just because. Anyway, uh, once we have skipped the cutscene and you've uh, done whatever you want to do, <laughs> basically this this next part is going to take about 10 minutes now. So uh, if you'd have watched the scene, uh, old nun bags right there gave us the <laughs> nun bags, but no fun bags. She gave us a bucket that we need to now go and fetch water. So we have to do this literally five times. So we have to go up. Straight in front of us is the water well. So we'll need to use the left stick in order to put the bucket down and then use the left stick to pick the water up. Put it in the bucket next to the door we just were at and you will have to do this, like I said, a nice five times. It's a nice nice bit of um, manual labor that we've got to do early on in the game. Even though, uh, I mean, I don't know about you guys personally, but I'm quite allergic to manual labor.
Useless labor is the basis of spiritual development. Obedience is above fasting or prayers. Indica didn't understand why she needed to retrieve the water from the well if there was a pump next door that took it from a sacred spring. She didn't understand why drinking from the spring was allowed, but cooking soup was a sin. The well was only about 15 meters away from the spring. It was not possible to have any other water there. Even a tenth of it is the same. They say, on Epiphany, even a drop of holy water blesses an entire canister. If that were true, a couple of evaporated drops from the spring would bless the puddles beneath her We haven't eaten even ten of them. With God's help, we'll make it to spring. No way. Sisters won't eat after her. Mother, the sign of... O oh, Son of God, accept me on this day as communicant of thy secret summer, for I shall not divulge thy mysteries to thy foes. I shall give
give thee no kiss. Those nuns, uh, again, if you didn't watch the cutscene, they basically just uh, tipped all the water. So all that 10 minute hard work, or sort of 8 minute, whatever it was, has just been ruined. But unfortunately, we can't burn them or, you know, do anything bad to them. So just go ahead, keep skipping all the cutscenes then until we get to this next part. And now we have to go and deliver a letter. What's in it? For, uh, what does that say? Father Merman? Okay, cool. He's a merman, Mr. Wolf. Okay, so what we're going to do as uh, a little fork in the road here. We're going to take the right. And again, it is right bumper. I think you can run with right trigger as well. But fair play, Indica, she has got some stamina on her, man. So over the bridge. And then down the stairs to your left. Then we're going to uh, do a 360 and continue on down the old hill right here. And we're going to be getting another achievement. So we're just going to interact with the door first and be like, Hello, Mr. Merman. But it turns out the Merman's already in the water. You know, Merman? Uh, Merman? Uh, anyway. Let your Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so what we're going to do, we need to drown in the river five times. Oh, if only it was uh, that easy in real life. Huh? So uh, before interacting with the lever to our now right... Don't interact with this just yet. I mean, you can if you want, because you've still got to drown five times anyway. It doesn't matter. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and jump in the water five times until the unholy water achievement unlocks. <laughs> Tried doing like a rock voice there, uh, but it didn't work. So anyway, drown five times, unlock achievement. Let's carry on. Makes sense. A logical end. I could say, God rest your soul. Oh well. So there we go, we've drowned five times. I suppose if we are a man or woman of God, then uh, he'll uh, help us not die by drowning. Anyway, so we pull the lever. That's going to go all the way to the end. Then what we need to do is pull the lever again and then run towards the sort of um, outer edge. And then you need to quickly cross the bridge over to the other side. So immediately do it. Take a little run over there, over this little snowy bit. And again, as soon as you can, just jump on and then quickly run to the other side. And it's how we do it in the biz, in the guard biz. Oh, yeah. Right, so, again, we are just going to continue on moving forward for the time being. Again, a lot of this game does have sort of uh, quite linear paths, but uh, again, it's not. Uh, but it is, again, still rather interesting. So, we are going to need to turn on our lamp, slash torch, slash lamp. So, click in the right stick. Continue on down, and we're going to get another achievement which can easily be missed. Damn, so, the key. Um, there's a what ladder to our right, but before yeah, putting it over the gate, what we're going to do is uh, head to the right, so go back on yourself and go back out of the cave. So she was just using the word literally. In any case, Tikon couldn't hear her. Hypocrisy. And then when we get out, we're going to go left, immediately left out of the cave, uh, give yourself a little climb up, and then turn to the left, and we're going to get the Porta Tissa achievement for basically finding an icon above the cave. The Our Lord Jeebus, who likes bread and wine and crackers and stuff. Um, yeah, you know, that all, uh, the, the, say the prayer and all that stuff. Anyway, uh, that's the achievement done. You can jump down because 
even though Indica is a frail, uh, young looking lovely nun, she has the ankle capability of not being able to get them smashed up when she jumps off stuff, which is very damn impressive. So, taking the ladder back all the way back to the end of the cave, and then we can climb over the locked gate. The old nuns didn't think this through, did they? <laughs> Okay, so on our left now is a box. We're gonna climb up the box. And like I said, you know, even though she probably just uh, drinks water and eats crackers and bread all day, she's got some incredible uh, Prince of Persia slash Assassin's Creed strength parkour style. So now this is another missable achievement. Uh, not for this bit, but basically once we interact with this, it's not gonna work and then we have to find our own way out. Um, now, what you can do is press the left trigger to say a prayer, and that will bring the map back together as one piece. So, as you'll be able to see, it's going to go red. Um, parts, of the, parts of the map here are going to um, basically break in half. If you press the left trigger um, to pray, it will come back. Now, we need to complete this section in one with just one prayer. So, do not press the left trigger for now. So, we're going to drop down to our right first. And then we can just jump up here. Go to the left and jump back up the boxes. Ignoring the old uh, devil butt. Jump up again to your left. And then what we'll do, we'll turn around and now we'll press the left trigger to pray so we can get to the other side. But do not press it again. You shouldn't need to press it again. Take a right over the bridge. Take a left up right. Meow. Go past the meow. And jump down. And then that's it. There we go. So now you'll be able to press the left trigger to nip onto the other side. The cave has been completed in one prayer. So that is that. Once we drop down, we'll have some more cutscenes and some load-in scenes and some other scenes. Jesus Christ, what, 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 what are you doing? So, when we regain control of Indy -di 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 press the left trigger to pray to get another achievement here called Tribute to the Deceased, which is very nice, very nice. So, we're going to go to the left of where we just found it, Deadness, Bodiness, Regionus. And then continue on our way upwards. At the station and then inject some corpse with morphine. Maybe out of respect for his dying wish. Or for the size of his epaulets. What do you think? So now we come to this old spooky little house again. No, there's not going to be anyone to be all like, "Hey, nan," and then smash your head against the bun, or you know, anything like that. Uh, so if we just keep, uh, keep continuing up, there's basically a piano in the living room, sort of downstairs. So what we need to do in order to get this next achievement, grab this safe and pop it against sort of the other side of the building, and you're going to hear like the piano noise. You know, as if it's just been smashed against a wall, funnily enough. So just keep on moving this safe um, back and forth opposite sides until you get the Ramaninov achievement. Right. 
Alright, so there we go. Once that one unlocks, now all we gotta do is actually grab the safe and put it all the way back to the right hand side so that the piano is, uh, the piano downstairs is now underneath the small gap in the window. You can just leave it there for I don't know why I was doing this. You don't actually need to do this. Um, so just leave the safe on the right hand side. And as long as the building's sloping down to the right, we can then head down. And the old PNA should be underneath the window. So now we can get out of here. Take a PNE for a wee. And uh, yeah, let's drop down. Again, ankle strength of an absolute top none. Then when we get out of this area, just take a right and continue onwards. Not a left, because there ain't nothing there. Wait! Quiet! Stop yelling! You've saved me, and I, I, I've saved someone too. Oh God, a, a little more and she could have... Oh, Lord have mercy on this person. You didn't see, she got away. Well, well, I, did, I didn't, I don't know how much, but if it weren't for me, I can't deliver a sinner's from... Sorry, wh what is your name? Ilya. Indica. You know, they say that every hour... So, we have a new friend, um, Gimp Arm. Not, not that he's got a Gimp Arm, but he does have a limp arm. The limpy Gimp Arm. So, after this whole cutscene, um, it's... Now, you think it's going to be one of those chase scenes where you've got to do the shoot-in and there's a whole bunch of uh, soldiers or whatever after us, but it's actually... Uh, it's not that bad at all. You've got to do the steering here as Indica. Um, and again, it's literally just a case of following the linear path downhill... Right trigger to accelerate, uh, left stick to steer as normal, um, but old um, gimpy limpy arm cannot be shot, so don't even panic yourself about it. We're just going for a nice bike ride while getting shot at. It's a normal day in America. Sorry. So, sorry, Americans. Eh, Donald Trump's guilty. Oh! You bitch! You Eyes on the road. Why are you aiming your revolver at me? You I won't shoot me. Why is that? If you don't go faster, I will. Please! Wait. You are so fast. Just come back! Just wait! Why are you rushing so much? Sorry. We're doing no more than five verse an hour, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do you understand it, huh? Is he talking about the word versed or how to start an engine? I grew up in a bike shop. 
My father sold them. In Spasov. Why in Spasov? No, in Godadishi. Never been to Spasov. That's where I grew up. <laughs> the man's logic is flawless. Uh, are you embarrassed to be so close to a man? She's been waiting for that. He's quite a looker, huh? Thick boy. I must smell awful. No, they, they kept us in the train for three days. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> she likes it. Oh! Pardon. Come on, come on. Grab her tips. Hey! Stop pretending. He's just like the men you imagine in your room when you're... Enough! All right, c calm down. But is he a bandit or a sissy? Hold on to your seat, for God's sake. So Indica's going to crash here because, uh, you know, I mean, d dude's got a messed up arm and you're going around crashing. Jesus! Anyway, now we're going to be coming up to a, another uh, sort of mini game. All we got to do then is race around the path. Um, and it's, uh, I believe it's the right trigger to go again. Or it might be the A button, sorry. I forget which one for some reason. Um, again, you don't have to worry about collecting all of these um, little Jeebus points. Uh, but just follow the path around for two laps until you're done. Dad, you silly mans. Oh, Luke, half past three in the afternoon. But we had to celebrate and rejoice, for his brother of yours was dead and has begun to live and was lost and been found. Now, this is about, uh, says Luke 1532, so it's about half three in the afternoon. We were just sort of getting on the beers. Uh, you know, we've had a couple, so we're just starting to spout a little, uh, you know, a little things. So we're going to get to half past five a little bit later on when we're on the shots and more stuff comes out of our mouth. What do you mean? You talk to God. What? By the way, um, oh, I, I do apologize if there is anyone who is yes. religious on here. I, 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 it's been a week. Religion oh, doesn't bother me I at all. It. Just, uh, just you know, I joke about everything, okay? You should know that by well, now. And for some reason, I do apologize, but Ever for whatever reason, like the game's, um, uh, the game's sound got would. extra, extra loud at this I'm point for some particular reason. So, apologies about this. It's all going according to plan. Every fucking step is God's plan, do you understand? So taking me hostage was God's plan? I know what you're thinking. But remember the Gospel. The father who gave his money to the prodigal son, not to the beloved one. The good one. But to the bandit. He who had been murdering and stealing, but came back. He, he came back. Do you understand? I think the Lord is happier to see to see one repentant sinner than well, a hundred thousand righteous people. I don't know. I, they don't even need repentance. Do, do, do you hear me? You know, he, he laid everything out before me. Spread out like a deck of cards. The past, the present, the future. Who? God, who else? I was lying there, about to die. And a sister, just like you, bought me some water in this mug. And I was drinking and I saw... I saw ripples in the water, little round waves, 
and heard a whisper, so I drank, and... You heard God in a cup? In a cup, yes. But that's, that's not the point. I'll show you when we get there. Maybe we should go around. And that's why I turned the volume down, because it just went extra nuts. But then it chills out here for some reason. Uh, so anyway, after we've skipped the scene, we're going to have to do... Uh, we basically now just got to find a wrench, because we've got this thing in the way. I mean, old um, limpy gimpy arm is not going to be able to do that. So we can head into this small building here. There's a couple of things that we can uh, look at, but you don't necessarily need to do. Instead, it's the other window that we do have to nip out of. But there is a book and there's like a, a jeebusy shrine you can uh, uh, have a look at and get some more of those points in the top left-hand corner if you so wish. Plus, there's someone with gangrene there who's uh, pretty dead on that bed, I assume. Okay, so... Um, if, if you've done in this room or you just want to crack on, head out of the opposite window of which we came in and then we can just drop down. Maybe there's something in that shed. Oh, Jesus, Indica. Okay. My God. Uh, so we need to grab the ladder first and then we're going to have to take it to the uh, left-hand side of the building or the shed. We're going to climb up and then we can just drop in and there is going to be a wrench slash spanner, whatever you call it, in your local yes. dialectiums. Uh, so grab this, and then we need to head back to, um, oh, he does have a name, but I'm just going to keep calling him Gimp Arm, because I forgot. So? Found a wrench. Give it to me. Quiet little doggy. Nice what doggy, nice you? doggy. No, what? not nice doggy. Ran! So that's exactly what we're going to do. So turn the camera around and sprint straight after old Gimp Arm right there. And then we'll be safe for the time being. But there is going to be an achievement in just a bit where we are going to basically, you've got to pray while being chased by a dog. Which sounds just as fun as it's not. So that's what we're after then. Ilya? We're after the cadets. Oh yeah, Ilya. Are you alive? He's uh, he's Ilya. Ilya. Fam. Yeah. Blood cuz. Blibbity gibbity. Nah, whatever. Um, right. So uh, this next part, all we're doing is literally, literally just running upstairs. A lot and a lot and a lot of stairs. Well, I tell you, it's a lot. Even when it comes to it, looks like it's coming to an end. It's still a lot. So just continue running. The way up until you hit a broken staircase. This one. I'm knackered just watching her. No. One way or another, there was certainly no doubt that she had to head for Spasov and not the Danilov monastery. <gasps> the letter. I cannot neglect my duty. What if there's something important in it? Open it. See for yourself. No. I'm reading someone else's letter. Why is a greater sin than not delivering it? Greater? How much greater? Twice as much. I don't know. Interesting. So, not delivering two letters is the same as reading one. What about stealing? Pocketing a ruble, for example. Is that worse? Worse. How much worse? The 
This is nonsense. You can't compare such things. Why not? The priest imposes a different penance for different sins, and since you know for sure which is better or worse, there has to be a way of measuring. Then let us say that stealing is ten times worse than not delivering a letter. What about murder? Let us put that at a thousand letters. Oh my god, you made it! Jesus Christ, what the hell? Anyway, in order to get past this next bit, what you need to do is actually interact with the door here. And it's going to be locked, which is going to be gutting. And then we'll just go uh, sort of towards the staircase again. And then when we turn around, the door should now be open. And voila, that is how we get in. There it is. You are not scared of the sin. You are scared of the letter. Perhaps you should not open it. Right, so we've got another one of these sections where we can hold the left trigger to pray. Again, you can do this as many times as you want, but it's because it doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll go to the left, hold left trigger to pray to get to the... Hey, we'll try that again. To get to the other side. And then what we'll do, when we drop down, we're going to drop down here. And then we are going to head to the right. So once you've dropped down, sorry, there was a bit of an edit skip there. But once you've dropped down, uh, immediately to your right, there was another bunch of boxes we're going to climb up. Turn around and then climb up these set of boxes. Hold the left trigger to pray again. To climb up. Oh, nope, don't hold the left trigger. Sorry, we're going to climb up this time when the devil's speaking to us. Cross the other side. Go to the right over the bridge. And then to the left. Pray. And then that's how you do it. So again, I do apologize if that was a bit quick, um, etc. But yeah. So just once we drop down to the floor, we'll go to the right onto the boxes. And then basically uh, just keep on climbing up and job done. Now, that bit actually confused the crap out of me because it looked like you just had to go towards the end. <laughs> but uh, they've done a sort of clever way of, um, yeah, not doing that. Anyway, continuing up on to the left-hand side and continuing going down the left all the way down. And then we're going to take a left through a gap in just a minute. Her head would disappear, and she would return to the monastery as someone who deserves at least forgiveness, if not everyone's love. She thought that years of suffering had been leading her up to this exact moment. I figured out what this place is. This is Denisovka, the paint factory. Marfa told me about it. She, she's our iconographer. They make yellow paint in that shed. All right there, a little tiny sort of puzzle coming up here on how to get to uh, to the uppers. So uh, what we do, we need to go to the right. Now we need to go right here and then w l let the iceberg fall and then quickly run up. So let it go down a little bit, run up, and then you should be able to press the A button to jump up. Um, Make it. Nah, of course you're not. Well, Although you are armless. Ah, armless. Anyway, uh, interact with the lever and then just continue on through to the side. Exactly what we need. What's that? Dumb bitch. Why are you standing around? How long can dogs stay underwater, huh? I don't know. I'd wait for a couple of hours, just to be sure. The stairs are broken. We'll have to go through the mill. So, we've got the stairs, you realise that we can't get through, so... <laughs> dog, that was an unfortunate... Apparently these dogs can't swim. So anyway, continue onwards, we have to go through the mill, we can't actually go up the stairs. So, drop down and it's going to be all like... Alone in the dirt. How beautiful. We had this one artist in the clink. He drew his family on the wall with his own shit. They look so lifelike. What? He was like that. Didn't manage to finish the drawing of the daughter, though. Le left her with just one eye. He got stabbed. 
Because so another stage. slight puzzle we're going to have to do here in order to continue. So go to the left, grab this um, uh, thing that we can jump up onto. So put it just underneath the platform here and then jump up. And then what we need to do on the table, there is actually just one, um, one of these uh, cotters that we need to grab. Um, so make sure to just grab... One of them, which isn't the broken one, and then drop back down. The wheels, you can change the direction of the shaft rotation. I see. What's the hold up? It doesn't fucking work. Nothing works here right now. It's a cotter, a safeguard. It breaks. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, so what we'll do now is grab our little thingamajigger, and we're going to pop this to the right. So go to where Ilya, old Mr. Arm of the Gimpness, is. And just to the right of where he is, we are going to leave this uh, just chilling right about there. That'll do. So climb up the steps and then use the cotter on the big old gear cog of life. It works. And then we can head back down once we've done that. And now we can actually control Ilya at this point. So what we could do is actually climb up to where we put the platform thing and then press the Y button and uh, that'll um, uh, shoot us up. Brr. I can't go down. Something's in the way. Okay, so the, now we're going to be start being chased by a dog, and this is where we're going to get the praying while being chased achievement. Um, so, you're suggesting so effectively, what we need to do is cross the beam. Now, this is again sort of a little mini game that you just need to balance yourself on, and then afterwards we're going to be chased. Now, if you do get caught, the checkpoints are generally quite uh, nice, so uh, don't worry about that. It's a very short chase anyway. But immediately what we'll do is, when we get off and we need to be told to run, we'll head straight to the left. So, here we go. Run to the left. And then jump over here. Continue on forward. And then take a right just on this beam. Just to the right of us here. Obviously take a left. And then jump over. And then just continue on. Now, in this next room on the right, this is where we're going to get the achievement. If you get caught here, you will start start right here. That's fine. So immediately just jump up on this table and press the left trigger to pray. And the deity achievement should unlock. Deity, whatever it is. There we go. So she does take a time annoyingly. Um, and then quickly move it over, jump up, and then jump out of the gap. Uh, so if you got the achievement and if you do get caught, that's fine. You'll literally start in that room. Make sure to turn back on yourself because the dog's going to drop down. Take a left and run all the way over to Ilya. And then that's job done. Killed it. Oh, the dog deserved it. Ooh, I think when Indica landed on Ilya, I think his uh, arm went from flump stump to um, well, it started working for just a minute there, didn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, it's going to be a bit of a walk and talk type thing at the minute, so continue walking on, basically up the, um, not that set of steps, but the one that was just straight in front of us, and again, we'll just have to have a little chat for a second, a loud chat, apparently. Remember someone it loves if it loses its brain with its memories, in a world without bones, cold, procreation. Beautiful women, rich men, bodies, basically. Passion, kindness, love. Can any of it exist without the body? For a dog. What? Ah, uh, yes, F for a dog. What 
of an asshole put that there? Maybe the crane could move it. I just realized I said the last achievement name wrong. It was uh, Piety, or Piety, or Pi, thank you, in uh, Text Talk. Uh, right, so we interact with this big old chunky crane. Now, there's another achievement here we're going to get for uh, destroying all the boxes. So, obviously, move the left stick, press the A button to lift the it, uh, lift the cargo and lower it. it so, here is the Why first box straight in front of us. Anyway, right? oh, so, straight, straight, straight below us, even. So, make sure to smash that one down. And then there's another two sets, as you can clearly see in front of us. Now, lower the cargo and continue on straight through, which will destroy another box. But again, you will have to press A to lower the cargo, which I was having a hard time doing then for some particular reason. Uh, so there we go, we'll get through eventually. So you can obviously see another bunch on our right, so make sure to grab these lot. Stop here. So what do we do? Have you read Mark Twain? Tom Sawyer? Yes. So... I like it. Me too. Watch it! And unfortunately you're going to have to drop the cargo and go down, left and all around. Uh, but those are the next two, or the last two sets of cardboards that we've got to uh, destroy. What are you doing? <coughs> Your ideas are so strange for a nun. Right, so hopefully you've got the meticulousness achievement there. This is just another little mini game. Um, it's effectively just a, a bit of an easy platforming section, uh, so it's not too difficult. You have some window sills that will go down. You'll have some window sills that will start moving. Um, but again, it's nothing too difficult. Uh, but there is a trick for the very end one, which I'll obviously get to in just a bit. You'll have to basically jump, uh, time your jumps, um, and sort of jump at the very last second. So you just have to be quick and you have to do this all sort of in one fell swoop. So what you need to do then is jump. You need to jump on the top one, jump onto the right, and then you have to quickly just make your way up to the right when the window sill the very, on the very right is obviously down. So jump, and then we'll just wait for the window sill to go up and then quickly down, and then hopefully you should be able to make it. Again, it's all just a little bit about um, the timing right there, but 
Again, it's not too difficult. <coughs> right, so this is the fish dryer section. Now, again, for some reason, I don't know if we're just small people in a huge animal world, or we've just shrunk, or whatever. But, um, so there's two achievements, as I said. One is for falling five times in the fish dryer, and there's the other achievement then for getting through the fish dryer without falling in once. So... Whichever way you do it, she had to go to the store, you will have to restart the level school, in order to get the other achievement, which is fine, because we start right at the bottom of the steps, the right there, um, in all the fish guts me. or whatever it is, and the Where fish dryer is right here. So, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty much worth just doing both of the achievements now, uh, but it really doesn't matter, because you get chapter select anyway. So, what we have to do then is go onto the platforms and basically just run until we find the gaps. And just continue on finding the gaps. What we then need to do is find a... Uh, keep looking at your left-hand side until you find or you see um, a runway that we can jump off. So, again, just continue on going through the gaps and then we can jump off the walkway. And that's the first part done. So continue heading on up the steps, and then we've just got another section of this to do. Now this is where I actually tried going for the not falling off achievement, and I ruined that pretty much straight away um, in just a bit. Um, but again, it's the same part, so what you need to do is just time it nicely, look for the gap, and then uh, have a look at the right hand side for the next walkway that you need to um, jump off of. What an undignified. Ah! No. A logic. Now, uh, so there we go. Uh, basically, the achievement, if you got through this without falling in, 
you will unlock the achievement as we get through the next door. So don't worry if it hasn't unlocked yet. So you just need to get on one of these platforms and go to the other side, which uh, where has the um, unlocked door that Ilya has gone through there. Um, but yeah, so what was annoying about that part for me is I literally overshot the um, platform that I was supposed to get off, which uh, was a bit annoying. But this is where the achievement will unlock anyway, so if you want to go ahead and get the opposite achievement, wh whichever way you got it, whether you need to complete it without falling in, or if you've got to fall in five times, just go ahead and restart the level and do that. Um, if not, again, you can just wait until later and get chapter select, which is fine. Otherwise, this is what's going to happen. We will fall off anyway, and um, that will always happen, so don't worry. In fact, the achievement, I think, should unlock here. Um, so, again, just have to restart the level, but uh, whichever way you look at it, there we go. Oh, yeah, and if you want to watch Ilya get in the nude, because uh, there is a nude setting that you can turn on if you want, um, she gets her little boob bazookas out. Um, and I don't think you see Ilya's wiener, but you certainly see a butt crack or two. Um, but that's what the abstinence achievement was, uh, just for watching the drying scene. Uh, whether you watch it or not, though, like I said, it doesn't matter, the achievement will unlock anyway. So again, a little bit of a walk and a talk. Whenever we make a choice, don't we base it on our previous experience? Don't we estimate all the possible benefits in our head? And if we go against the rational, don't we realize that we're being driven by our emotions, by our passions? Do you understand? As I was saying, our will helps us to control our passions. Resist temptation. And that's true. But when you control your emotions, there's always a reason, right? You can explain why you're doing it, build a string of logic. If the soul didn't exist, all that remains would be your logical shit. How the fuck can one live without a soul? Humans haven't learned that yet. Yes, but even a soul has its own inclinations. But let's say your soul gravitates towards God, and mine doesn't. Is that my choice then? Or, in theory, let, let's imagine that the choice isn't based on anything. What kind of choice is it then? Pure chance. Wait, so, so you're saying choice is an empty word? Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't even understand the point of this whole choice thing, this freedom that God has graced us with. Why would God need our so-called freedom if in the end he's only satisfied with strictly defined choices? He could have just made me in a way he would have liked me. Although I say uh, nude settings, like it's an exciting thing, but uh, people today are so, we're pretty much desensitized now to uh, all boobs and butts and genitals and everything, since there is so much of the old pornography and uh, the amount of OnlyFans out there. I mean, once you've seen a boob, you've seen them all, right? Unless one has like a, you know, six inch nipple or something, I don't know, but uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, you can pray to your old uh, pal, the old guy in the sky, old Arnie Pie, and then just continue walking on forwards. Jesus Christ, that's a big whale. Or fish, or whatever that's supposed to be. My God. So 
this next puzzle actually and absolutely rattled my brain for ages. And in fact, it is one of the most simplest in the game, which, uh, of course, I found hilarious after about 20 minutes of frustratingness. So we've got an elevator here and we need to know. get another elevator up to the top floor. So with this first elevator, then we're going to go down once and twice. And... That is going to be it until we hit floor level... Oh, no, in fact, we need to go all the way down, sorry. So, down again until we hit floor level one. There it is. And then with the elevator now on the left, we're going to go up. And then up again. And, the, uh, and then up again until we hit floor level three, which is what uh, Ilya is on at the minute. So then we, we're going to go all the way back down. And grab all the way down to the first floor, grab the next elevator, and put that all the way to level three as well. So, once we have both of the elevators here on the top floor, on the old level 3, uh, go into the left elevator and go down tw uh, just twice until we hit level, uh, uh, sorry, three times until we hit level 1 again. And then we'll head back up to the um, sort of next level, uh, or level 3, and then with the next elevator, sorry, we're going to go down once. And then we can back out. So we are now in this sort of closed off section. So what we'll do now is we can drop down the elevator. So we can actually drop down on top of the elevator here. So uh, where we should now be on floor level two. And then we'll just head all the way back up. And that is as easy as that. Then we can cross over to the other side. Unbelievable. what I think. Oh, shit. Here, here we go again. I'm not telling you anything from now on. Oh, come on. I, I'm joking. Tell me. You, you were wondering about freedom. Why did God make you free? Here, here's what I think. If I were the Tsar, I, I wouldn't want my wife to be a slave. I, I would find myself a free girl that can love me genuinely. Do you, do you understand? Yes. It's a good example. But now imagine if your Tsar has found himself a girl he loves. Can you? So? So he confesses his feelings to her and invites her to his palace. So? And now imagine that the Tsar also says, if you come, I'll drape you in gold. And if you don't, I'll hang you on a hook and burn you slowly. This also requires her to return his feelings. I see where you're going with this. But it's not God who burns people in hell. That would be those damn demons, enemies of mankind. Very well. In this case, the Tsar says, if you come, I'll cover you in gold. And if you don't, Parfum the Butcher will catch you, hang you on a hook, and burn you slowly. I love you endlessly, but can't do anything about it. Think about it. If even the Tsar can't actually do anything about this Butcher because of some unclear circumstances, why can't he just stay silent? So you're, you're saying nobody can love God genuinely? No. No, it's not like that. I... We have to check one place before the line. Where? You'll see. I've hidden something there. All right. Mm. 
Oh my god, look at these cans of tuna. I tell you what, that would literally... Imagine just being able to buy one giant can for like, you know, I, I don't know, however much, but... God, that would keep you sustained for weeks. Cheeky jacket potato, a giant jacket potato, and some tuna and that. Oh, lush. Okay, so uh, interact with the lever there. That's going to get Ilya on the other side, which is good, because uh, he's making us question our belief in God. Although, if, if you're living in a world where there are giant well, cans of tuna exactly. and massive giant fish, we then, uh, well, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what world we're living in. So drop down onto the giant cans. Effectively, what we have to do here is make a bit of a bridge. And of course, we ain't going to move the giant cans of tuna on our own, so we have to get this big crane or something. So what we'll do, again, left stick to move, uh, the A button to just grab and release. So what we're going to do is head to the opposite side. We have to, not that side, but over to our left. So what we need to do with these cans of, uh, three cans that are stacked up, we basically have to make a little bit of a bridge section for us. So just put this either on the right or the left, so you're able to climb up the first one, then the second one, and then the third one. For some reason I'm doing a 360, for no particular reason. <laughs> What's next? And then what we need to do is actually park this just over to the left so we can make a bridge. So not, not at this section here, so just a little bit to the left. You need to basically put it right in the middle, sort of there. So that gives us a little bridge and an opportunity then to jump up. And then we're back with Ilya fam. Do we really need it? You'll see. Are we even allowed here? Nobody here. Everyone's asleep. The one on the right is ours. And if you're wondering what's going to happen here, basically we are going to cut off Ilya's hand. So he is no longer Gimp Arm, he is just No Arm now. Uh, or we cut off his hand or whatever. Anyway, uh, once we've done that, you've watched it, you've skipped it. We're now coming on to a, another little platforming section, the old Frogger section. Um, and again, just like with the first platform section, you basically have to do a bit of timing. But first things first, we're going to drown in the lake ten times. So just have a little jump in until we unlock the desire for a kiss achievement. Right, love your stuff. So once the achievement unlocks, again, this is just, again, more about timing. So you actually have to jump um, at the very last second, as you can see. So it may be a little bit tricky to get the timing down first, but again, it's literally just a case of following the path, following the video until we get to the other side. You'll have to do four sections of these. Um, and again, the checkpoints are ve generally very good anyway, because when you get to the next stone, if you drown, that's where you'll start off from. So again, generally descent.
So, thank you for that, douchebag. And we we are now sort of getting into the hard liquor shot style. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. Uh, Matthew said that at about half past five, so he's already absolutely off his nut. Um, just imagine what he's going to be like at half past seven. Huh, he's going in a taxi home. Okay, so uh, once you've done that little mini game, we'll just skip the scene once again here. And again, we will just continue walking towards towards the light. For the first time, Marilyn, walk into the light. Felt a stab of doubt. Hmm, a stab of doubt. Well, at least, uh, or I hope it wasn't a stab of his stumpy little arm in my butt. No, wait. I mean, my back. Every step on her road to God, drawing her closer to the devil. I did everything correctly. Otherwise, he would have died from sepsis. And if he didn't? There! He's healed! A miracle! Wouldn't feel good, would it? That means he was indeed talking to God and earned his absolution. God, please. Talk to me this one time. How did I go against you? Is it in my power to intervene in your design? Is this a part of your plan? Is this how it's supposed to be? He will be all right. The arm will heal. Ilya will live. He'll live. So now I have to feel guilt for this as well? You can see I'm trying. But he's always behind my shoulder. Me again. You were driven by fear. The fear of ending up with a corpse. And back then, with the gypsy, what was it? Were you restless because of his tanned arms? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh. So now it's time to do some levering, switching, and climbing platforming. So I uh, go up, obviously, in order to get the um, platform to go up, and we need to put this about halfway there. So press B to back off, and then we'll climb up the couple of platformios. <laughs> Then we're going to head around to the right. And then we need to jump uh, in to this gap, head to the left, and then go to the left-hand side gap here. And then jump up onto the platform, of course, the next one, and then jump up onto the next one. Right, so now we're at the top, we're going to switch the lever, and we're going to put this up to the top, and again, we are going to do it... Oh, wrong way, god, god damn it. So we're going to do it about halfway. Not there, but halfway up. What the hell am I doing? About halfway down, sorry, yeah, halfway down. Right, that's what I said, right? Halfway down? Yes, of course I did. So, jump up, and then we are going to need to push this basket of uh, deliciousness of nothings. Um, and then just go back to the lever. Nice giant cans of things. Uh, so go to the lever, and then this time we're going to go about halfway up. So not all the way up. Definitely not that far up. But just about halfway again, so we can climb up. And then we can climb up to the other side. <laughs> 
Now we're going to be coming up to another achievement of missable proportions. So we're going to switch the lever again and we're going to put it up again until it's about halfway rather than all the way up. So, no, we're not. Uh, sort of, yeah, so sort of halfway up. So then we'll jump onto the platform again. Make sure to do this before going out to the other side. And then when we climb up, we'll jump up here and we're going to find the first of our based shoes. Bro, that shoe is based, yo. Uh, so there's the first one. And then the next one is literally about 40 seconds away. So now this time we can actually just jump straight down. And jump straight down and continue onwards out of here. Go towards the left. Again, very much make sure to go to the left here. And as we get down, before heading down the steps, don't go down the steps just yet. Uh, but we're going to go down and across. And this is where we're going to get another based shoe, which will give us a full set of based shoes. The other miracle. Maybe one needed to buy a ticket to see the miracle. And all the tickets had sold out. What if her certainty in God's plan was just another delusion? So, you can go down the steps now in order to progress the game, but I've decided to have a little look in this building here on the right. All it is is basically a book which is going to give us a couple more of those uh, uh, Jeebusy points. And just at the end, you can, you can uh, light a shrine dedicated to the old, the old breadwinner himself, the old water maker, wine maker. I mean, if uh, Jesus could have turned it into a Jack Daniels and honey... Then, damn, we would have been onto a winner, Mr. Crest. Uh, but anyway, that's all, literally all there is in that room. There's nothing of any special mentionings. So now we can go down the steps in the middle and continue onwards. So, and again, very impressively then, Indica as a nun who only knows about God and stuff. Um, she's quite good with machinery, isn't she? So, uh, what you need to do then is we need to move the platform to the left. And you can see where the sort of wooden boardwalk is on the left there. Um, we effectively have to put our little plank of wood just right in front of that, which gives us a little bit of, um, a little bit of a walkway. So, there we go. So, we're going to place it down Basically on our left there, and then what we can do is uh, press B to leave, and then we can head down and jump straight on that. Obviously not the way I've done it. You actually have to go down the steps, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The prioress cut it as punishment. It wasn't a big deal. I burned Father Sergei's Felonian. So, these next parts may seem complicated, and again, to be fair, for Ilya to have his hand cut off and he's basically dying of every known disease, um, he's actually uh, still pretty strong. So, we're just going to go ahead and pop this uh, little platform bit in the middle, so then we can just jump over it and straight down. On our left, you can see the uh, that that is supposedly supposed to be our demon, which is spooky scary. Uh, but drop down anyway here, and then we'll head to the left and just continue to keep dropping down.
And yes, you did have old wrinkly Leatherface whistling us a nice tune which seemed Look, to never end. Like cathedral from the poster. Ah, you're damn right, Sam. You're damn right, mate. Right, so again, just follow the old uh, guy who is Ilya. Is. What? The tavern you were talking about. There it is, below. Yeah. By the way, see the pawn shop opposite the tavern? Its owner is Nam Pat, Ephraim's brother. They've always hated each other and yet depended on each other. Nam was buying stolen stuff from the vagrants who would then go to Ephraim to spend the money on shitty wine and whores. And Ephraim Spoons would often end up in Nam's shop. We used to call them the Batshit Brothers. Why don't they like each other? Because each of them thinks that the other brother is richer. Soon you'll be able to play a concert there again. I want to see it, yes? Okay, we're coming up to another miscellaneous achievement here, so when we get up and Ilya goes to the right, do not follow him. So, go to the right now, but not right again, so don't follow him for the moment. Continue on straight, and then um, pull this whimsical device in order to get yourself down. We're basically looking for a, uh, a cheeky book, a cheeky... Uh, one of those books, yeah. So ahead of the left, we're going to jump up on these big concrete blocks, or slabs or whatever. Jump up again, head to the left, and it's basically the old Pnonognofno. And here's the book that we need to find, and basically, um, the priest comes home from service and sees her ass getting provided by the stable mate. It's a great book, great read, one of my favourites. One of my favourites ever. Anyway, that is the indecent book. And now Windica's like, hmm, well, this whole uh, snack rules before marriage thing, yeah, that's uh, that's just a myth, right? Yes, it's a myth, because uh, sex trumps marriage every single time. Again, sorry if you believe in marriage before the old snack rules, but, uh, oh man, snack rules is just too good. Self, snack rules is also hilariously good as well, even if you're crying into your tissues it's at night. Finished. Anyway. Ah, oh, it's not finished. No, Indica has to do some mechanical stuffs again. Man, this, this chick, she good. She good. Right, down. so jump onto the little elevator. Press the Y button in order for down. one arm to get us doing. Okay, so we actually have to incredibly move two bridges, which appear to not even be uh, glued together yet. So this first one, we will press the A button, or oh, sorry, the uh, le left stick lower button, in order to pick up this massive bridge and <laughs> unfortunately destroy all the scaffolding with it. Go to the right and then press the A button to rotate the hook. So we're going to actually need to rotate it, first of all. Um, if I can actually just grab the thing. There it is. What are you doing? <laughs> You're not coming down. So, wrote it. Sorry, I'm just listening to all the, uh, the AIs right there. It's all hilarious. So now we are going to just place it down here. And then what we need to do is go all the way to the left until we find another bridge in order to pick up. <laughs> So we can be a little bit finicky, but uh, eventually we'll get to this point of the bridge, pick that up, and then we don't have to rotate the hook, just go all the way back to where Ilya is on the right, 
drop the bridge down and then we can go back up and cross so it looks like it could be complicated but it's genuinely it was genuinely easy enough don't fucking talk to me up Where's the good yet? It's over. Been too long already. So if you're gonna watch this cutscene then, basically it ends up with Ilya killing this guy and obviously we're gonna be arrested soon. But this is a bit of an annoying uh, little mini game, the last one of the game. So you have to f uh, basically grab all of these coins and get out the door, which is the very bottom. But if Ilya's father hits you with the spanner slash wrench, you will lose some coins and you have to collect those coins again and then try and get out the door. So that's why there's going to be a bit of an edit here because I actually kept getting hit, which was a giant pain in the old Indica. Um, yeah, so just try and avoid the wrench best you can and then head towards the door, which will be at the bottom. There it is. And this is an unfortunate end as well. So Indica's going to be like, no, who is this guy? I don't know him. And then uh, Indica's dad shoots your friend in half, which, boy, that's a bit of a... <laughs> that's a bit of a painful way to go. Anyway, it's basically now, since we've been arrested, um, this is basically a big, old, chunky walk and talk. It's bigger than anything we've done before in this game yet. I call thy son that he may place me on his right hand, unworthy as I am when he sits to judge the living and the dead. Amen. Ever heard of Makar, the Scytheman? There was a lot about him in the papers, but only after he was hanged. Seven kids lost their heads because of his side. What? Well, he chopped them off. Are you comparing him to me? Well, no. No, I think Makar is something of a saint. Listen, let me tell you. Makar had three kids, all of them boys. One day, he dropped something on his youngest, a wagon or a wardrobe or something. It was so bad that the poor boy stopped feeling his legs. Couldn't sleep at night. Lay there all day crying from pain. The village doctor couldn't do anything, so well, Maka couldn't take it anymore. He went to the priest and said, Bless me, Father. To end the child's suffering. Well, the priest didn't bless him, of course. He sent him home to pray and think about the salvation of his soul. Makar prayed for a week, but the son wouldn't stop screaming. So, Makar snapped, took the cover off his side, said a prayer, and ended the suffering with a single sleep. He went back to the priest and said, It's done, Father. I don't have a soul anymore. And I lost my right to think about salvation back when I dropped that wardrobe on my son. Or was it a wagon? I don't remember. 
Joe, my soul is done. Better tell me where he is now, in hell or in heaven. The priest said, in heaven, of course. He didn't get to sin. In a way, you gave him a gift. Sent him straight to the kingdom of heaven without any earthly suffering. Well, this thought got stuck in McCarr's head. So he went home, put his other sons in front of a kiosk, said a prayer with them, and chopped their heads off. But after that, he went completely insane and started hunting down his neighbor's kids. Managed to kill four of them before he got caught. Why is he a saint? Think of it this way. Some martyr gets burned at the stake because of Christ. Does it mean he buys himself eternal life for ten minutes of suffering? Hmm? Can we call this a real sacrifice? Makar is a different story. To save someone else's soul, he sacrificed his own. Why are you telling me all this? Father Proc, the one you killed. He couldn't have asked for a better gift. He's now an innocent victim, a martyr. Maybe he'll even be canonized. And what about Makar? What about him? He got hanged. I guess I can't do anything worse than that. So with this next scene right here, basically Indica gets um, SA'd by this absolute disgusting pig-faced son of a monkey. But it also goes to bode the question. Um, now, again, don't hate me or anything, but if there was a god, why would he allow bad things to happen to good people and good things to happen to bad people. I know some good things happen to good people and bad happens to bad, but there's a lot, there seems to be a lot more bad happening to good and a lot of good happening to the bad people. Just saying, Raz, why, it, why, if there was a god, why wouldn't he just have good stuff happen to good people and, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll let you argue amongst yourselves on that one. So we're just gonna head up, we're gonna take the next left. I don't think we get chased or anything, but uh, it does look like a chase scene. Head to the right, of course. And then just continue on left through all the debris and all the crapness. To the right, to the left. And we are going to see Ilya, who is megaly, megaly pierced. Oh, oh. Did I undo my trousers? Where is the cadets? Well, um... <laughs> they didn't even give me five rubles for it. What? Give me the money. I don't have any. It's gone. You know, I've already conquered the guitar, but the, the brass, the pipes... Where is the Kudyat? Hmm, never heard of it. Someone just exchanged it for a trumpet. A, a man with one arm? Oh, you are extremely lucky. This is exactly what you're looking for. An amazing artifact of unspeakable wondrous power. Just 25 rubles. What do you mean, 25? You got it for five. Hmm. 20 for everything. One whoa, second, whoa, whoa. I just need to have a look. You can look, but, but don't touch. 
What? What did you sell me, you scumbag? Oh, damn. Oh, no. It, it doesn't even... So this is effectively the end of the game now. Um, so what we got to do is we just need to uh, pick this up a couple of times, shake all of the points out of it, or shake out of all the, you know, Jeebus money, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's effectively now going to be the end of the game. Way. You can sort of misinterpret this end in whichever you wish, but uh, I think, no, I pre I'm pretty sure I think, you'll see what I mean now, because um, it all just nips off away, just all baggers off, but I think the ending sort of represents the fact that Indica has now lost her faith, so her faith in God has disappeared, because people are such dickwads, um, and, well, I tell you what, if they had social media back in the day, all they had to do was go on social media for about... Uh, sort of 10 minutes or so, go on Facebook, and you'll see that uh, faith will have been lost uh, eternally and uh, everything anyway. So, it doesn't matter how many points, doesn't matter how many Jeebus money you get out of this. Um, so, you can literally just press the B button to leave at any time, and it will now basically be the end of the game, where Indica will be like, Do you know what? Screw this. I've lost my faith. I'm just going to go to parties and uh, have a damn good term. Uh, which is probably uh, better. The freer you are, the freer you feel, the uh, happier your life will be. Don't let yourself be constricted by, like, you know, one thing. Oh, I must follow this guy and must follow that. Nah, screw that. You be free by yourself and enjoy your damn life. Uh, and it's empty. Which I'm assuming if you had faith, or you still had the faith, it would have some stuff in it. Anyway, yeah. The faith is gone, 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 bam, bam, bam. But there we go then, guys and gals. So that was IndyCar. Now, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the game as much as I did and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. As always, a big shout out to my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and everyone who interacts with me on the daily. So thank you so, so much, guys and gals. And just before I disappear, um, again, if you want to go, if you didn't end up getting the fish dryer achievement, one or the other, whichever one it is, and you didn't restart the level earlier, all we can do is, all you got to do is go into level select and then choose um, fish factory. And then you can just do that as many times as you wish. So go down to fish factory. You'll start again, basically the bottom of the stairs. And then you can just carry on until you get that last achievement. So thank you so much again, guys and gals. I shall see you in the next one. Big love.